Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about five keys to winning consistently. That's the key word, consistently, regardless of low inventory, rising interest rates, and crazy competition. So if you're feeling like you're in a crapshoot right now and you got a bunch of pre-approvals and 90% of the time they make offers, they're not even securing any kind of contract because they're getting beat out by the competition. If you're concerned that you're sitting on a one-legged stool with 50, 60, 70, 80%, even 90% refis in this rising interest rate environment and you're shaking in your boots, understandably so, because you realize as soon as rates go up a few more notches, you're going to be caught with your proverbial pants down and having to scramble to recoup that lost revenue in the purchase market without a plan, without a system and feeling like you're in this fear mode and not knowing how to solve it, you have come to the right place because in this particular episode, I'm gonna share with you some of the concepts, principles, philosophies that will really help you get yourself back on track on what's really gonna push the needle on profit and performance in your business, not just now, not just in this environment, but in any environment. So let's get to it and do it. Let's start with the first key. The first key to winning consistently in any market, including the one we're in right now, is to focus on the purchase market. And by focusing on it, I don't mean working in your business all day, every day, and having an anemic focus on proactive lead generation, and even that being refi focused, what we want to have is consistent time every single day focusing on pushing the needle in the purchase business. So in other words, you want to make that your mandatory must. You can miss a meal, but you don't miss your hour of power or your two hours of power. Or if you're new and you don't have much business, your three or four hours of power every day focusing like a laser beam on bringing in more purchase business. So one of the things that you're going to want to make sure that you anchor in your soul to your core right from the get go, starting today is the purchase market is the most impervious to market shifts, market conditions, interest rate uh, increases, etc. Because regardless of what's going on in the market, regardless of rates, people are still going in the market, moving up in the market, getting married, getting divorced, and dying. And all of those require transactions. Now you might be thinking, but Doran, I got all these pre-approvals. None of them are securing a contract because they're getting beat out. How do you deal with that? I'm playing a winner's game. I mean, how many pre-approvals do I need to actually secure a contract? That's a very good question. We're gonna get to that. But a big problem that we're seeing in this environment is that people are sitting on a one-legged stool with 50, 60, 70, 80, 90% 90 plus refis. That's crazy. In a raising interest rate environment, that is absolute death rattle to your business. And the problem is people are picking the low hanging fruit with these crazy low rates we've had over the last 24 months or so. Frankly, even further back than that, we've been in a refi boom for quite some time, but certainly in the last year since COVID hit, these have been crazy historically low rates. And so you guys have been able to get off being lazy when it comes to the purchase business. But now, of course, that low hanging fruit is starting to dry up and you're realizing, man, I'm in a precarious position. What do I do to get in the purchase market? Well, you better be doing something and doing something fast before rates go up more. And now you're scrambling to recoup that lost revenue along with all the other refi crabs who have been hanging out underneath the refi rocks, picking that low hanging fruit in the refi business. And now by virtue of necessity, they're forced to crawl out from the refi rocks and clamor after the same realtors as everyone else with the same lame ass value proposition. They don't have anything unique. They don't have any differentiation and it's just great rates, great service, throw me a bone. That is not the position you want to be in, especially operating from desperation. Desperation is never a place to create kick ass results as you guys know. So the second key to this is differentiate or die. I just spoke to that, right? If you're just offering great rates, great service, throw me a bone, that ain't gonna work so well. You know that to be true. You've been there, done that. And especially when there's intense competition, especially when everyone's going after the same realtors, especially when you know people are still in a position where they have so much competition 
not only when it comes to the buyer side of the equation, when they're you know purchasing, purchasing a property, but even right now, there's tons of competition on rate, even with the lingering and last uh, you know, refi people who are trying to pick up a deal before they miss out. You know, the FOMO is real. Fear of missing out is real. And so a lot of refi people are finally hopping on the bandwagon because they don't want to miss out seeing all the inflationary indicators in the news. FOMO is really starting to be a blowtorch under their buns and say, okay, this is the time. So we got some last uh, responders, if you will, in the refi market. And so you've got a ton of competition. How to differentiate is going to be key. Now, here's the thing about you winning in any market as it relates to differentiation. You've got to focus on the purchase business, but you've also got to find out and articulate a compelling value proposition that separates you from every, anyone else. Now, here's what I know to be true. If you are endorsed by a go-to top producing agent, who is saying you're the best thing since sliced bread. You can practically practically walk on water. You are a badass mofo when it comes to getting deals done, getting deals done on time with proficiency, with five-star, first-class, world-class experience. If you have a top producing realtor endorsing you as their go-to mortgage pro, you gotta be known their client is not just reaching out to you, but they're reaching out to you pre-cooked, pre-sold, hot for what you got, and predisposed to work with you over all your competitors because of the power of that third party endorsement. So if you want to have the edge, use and leverage the power of third party endorsement. But then the question is how to differentiate yourself against all the other loan officers and mortgage brokers out there as, as it relates to why should the mortgage or the realtor rather refer you over your competitors? You know, everyone's offering great rates, great service, throw me a bone. So what makes you different? Well, that's precisely why people hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com because they realize that it, that is not an easy code to crack. It doesn't matter how many YouTube videos you watch, how many podcasts you listen to, how many blogs you read, that ain't an easy code to crack. And it ain't easy to figure that out on your own. You can be in the business 5, 10, 15, 20 years and then never crack that code. We've been in this game 16 years focusing on that one thing, cracking the code on two things actually, how to mine the gold from your database if you have one, and number two, how to get top producing realtors to make you their exclusive without the hell of cold calling. That is not an easy thing to crack. And so you need to have such a kick-ass value proposition that you become irreplaceable, indispensable, and have the agent eating out of your hand like putty in your hand, chomping at the bit such that they need you more than you need them. How do you create? How do you articulate? How do you deliver that kind of a kick-ass value proposition? Well, that's precisely why people hire us. And it really has to do with shifting your method from being a prospector to being a positioner from being a loan leech to being irreplaceable and indispensable as a marketing partner, as about as we're about to talk about in a moment. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? Key number three, build stability through diversification. Build stability through diversification. Now there's a lot of different components of that diversification. You wanna build diversification in your partners. You know, the worst number in business I learned from the late and great Dan Kennedy is one right? Like one partner, one referral source, one employee, because the moment that one is done, you're screwed, blued, and tattooed. That pony you're riding is dead. And now you're SOL scrambling with nothing. So you want to do the antithesis of that, the opposite end of the spectrum, which again is building stability through diversification. Don't just have one partner, have six to 12 partners. You don't need 40 you don't need 100, just a rock solid 12. Jesus had 12 disciples. I recommend 12 solid top producing realtors who make you their exclusive. You do that, you can, you can be earning freedom money, surgeon money, do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want money. And you could be making half a million to a million plus per year just from five to 12 solid partners who make you their exclusive. There's no need to herd 40 cats. There's no need to change the diapers of 40 different realtors who are always, you know, calling you up at nine o'clock on a freaking Sunday night. No, that's doing it the hard way. But you want to build stability through diversification where you're not relying on just one partner. 
You're not relying on just one referral source. You're not relying on just one marketing media. Use multiple marketing media, not just one. So everything you do, you want to build that stability through, through diversification, just like the Parthenon in the Mediterranean, in Greece. It stood through the ages over 3,000 years, not because it has one pillar, but because it has a multitude of pillars that allows it to have strength. Even when one pillar falls, the rest of them hold it up. That's what you want you to build your business from that same philosophy. The other thing that's really gonna help you win in any market, regardless of low inventory or rising interest rates, is to be a marketing partner, not a loan leech. We touched on that earlier. So the reason why people who have a solid stable of top producing agents who make them their exclusive win in any environment is number one, they're in the purchase market. Number two, they build stability through diversification. Number three, they're leveraging the power of third party endorsement. So now this expert in real estate called the top producing agent is not suggesting to their client to work with you. They're saying to the client, even if they already have financing in place, I get that you're already pre-approved through Quicken or Bank of America or whatever it happens to be, but I want you to get a second look through my go-to mortgage pro. They're the one I like, trust, and count on to ensure my clients get the best mortgage with the best rates and terms available. So I'm gonna have him or her reach out to you to get you pre-approved just to ensure you have the best mortgage with the best rates and terms available. Notice how that gives certainty to the client. You are the one to work with. So you have all those different components, but how do you win their trust? How do you get their mind share and their heart share such that you get their referral share? How you get it is by positioning yourself as a true marketing partner, not just a loan leech. The loan leech comes to them and is basically groveling, begging, right? Send me a bone. I offer great rates, great service, throw me a bone. That ain't gonna work, especially in an environment like this when everyone's shifting from the tide of, neglecting realtors, picking the low-hanging fruit from these crazy low rates with refis to now everyone stampeding after the same realtors. And they're getting calls every single day, texts every single day. Why should they work with you over the avalanche of all these other LOs? Well, not because you have great rates, great service. We know that to be true. So what are you gonna offer no one else offers? It's called helping them win in their business. It's called helping them close more deals with less effort. It's called helping them earn more while working less with less stress. Now, how do you do that? If you don't have it, you can't give it. That's why people hire us. That's why smart, progressive mortgage professionals hire us to learn how to win in their own business, to learn how to become a proficient, sophisticated marketer so they can turn around and not only lead by example in their own business, but then turn around and share that with their strategic partners who have the privilege to work with them. Notice the key word privilege. We're not begging we're selecting, we're qualifying, we're interviewing. You're not being interviewed by the realtor, you're interviewing the realtor. Notice the shift in energy there. They need you more than you need them if you have the right kick-ass value proposition. And the last key that I wanna share with you today is drive winning marketing with a winning mindset. You said it doesn't matter how many tools you have in the toolbox, if you have a leaky toolbox, you got a problem. Right. So it doesn't matter how many tools we give you, how many strategies we give you, how many tactics we give you. If you don't have the right mindset, if you got stinking thinking, excusitis, procrastination, paralysis by analysis, any of that stuff where you're getting in your own way, obviously you're not going to perform at your best. Obviously, you're going to leak a lot of productivity. Obviously, you're going to be your own bottleneck. So you need to drive winning marketing winning strategy with a winning mindset. How do you do that? Do you just figure it out on your own? Do you just figure out what your blind spots are, even though you don't know what your blind spots are on your own? No, when you're in the bottle, it's hard to see the label, right? You're too close to the action. That's why smart progressive mortgage professionals and smart progressive entrepreneurs and frankly, smart, progressive, anything, whether it be athletes, whether it be politicians, whether it be business people, hire coaches and consultants, mentors, who can shine the light in their blind spot, who can illuminate the areas called they don't know what they don't know. So they don't have to step on the landmines on their own. 
because they realize they're intelligent enough to know it's going to be a lot more expensive to learn from their own mistakes than to learn from an expert. And that's why people hire us. So you, that way you can condense decades into days. Instead of having to take 10, 20 years to make half a million or more a year, you can get there in literally two, three years or less when you have the right strategy, you have the right kick-ass champion level coaches in your corner to help you produce champion level results. It's all about helping you align your mindset and your strategy with victory. And you can do that by winging it, throwing yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks, or you can just go straight to what works, stick the key in the ignition, drive away, and have a kick-ass support structure to be able to support you to keep your wheels in the groove so you don't derail or get in your own way. And that's precisely why people hire champion level coaches so they can get champion level results. So if you're listening to this right now and you're like, Dorn, I feel you, brother. I understand what you're talking about. And I need more of what you got. I need a winning strategy. I realize I'm getting in my own way. I realize I'm doing it the hard way. I realize that I'm going to the gunfight with a butter knife, unequipped and ill-equipped, and it ain't working at the level I need to. And I realize this is not an easy thing to fix on its own. And it's only going to get worse if unattended, not better. And I'm looking for answers. If that's you and you're on 100% commission making 80 basis points or higher, and you're defiantly committed to taking your business to the next level and setting yourself up to win in any environment, so you're least and last affected by market downturns and market and, and interest rate increases versus you know, first and most, you wanna be least and last, not first and most. And if that is indeed the case and you're ready to double or triple or quadruple your income while working smarter, not harder, and you want to harness the power of elegant simplicity in your business where you can earn more while working less, I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We will get together with you. Just have an honest, real talk conversation on the phone. You book either with me or one of my consultants. And we'll just lift up the hood on your business and look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to be. And if we can help you create a breakthrough, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you'll leave that call with clarity like you've never had before. Massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we'll have a lot of fun as well. So if that's meaningful and worthwhile to you, you'd like to explore what we can do for you to take your business to the next level in the purchase business, shortest path to the cash without messing around doing it the hard way, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. So there you have it, five keys to winning in any market, in any situation you might find yourself in, whether it be low inventory or high inventory, low rates or high rates, refi market or purchase market how to win consistently, reliably, with total peace of mind in any market where your pipeline just keeps growing month after month after month, and to be able to do it the smart way, not the easy way, because let's be real, if it was easy to win, everyone would be winning. If it was easy to win, everyone would be fit, rich, and happy. Most people are fat, broke, and unhappy. Why? Because it takes something to win. But if you're defiantly committed to winning, and taking the shortest path to the cash without messing around doing it the hard way, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. This is Dorn Aldana coming at you from the, for the, easy for me to say, this is Dorn Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Be blessed and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.